All right, so I just came home from my big boy job because I have a big boy job and what do I find out? I come home and there's a bunch of videos of people talking about the new Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, right? That's what it's called. So anyway, I come home to this and you know, it's all over the place and it's like, dude, I've been at work all day and I just found out about this, you know? Um, it's amazing, dude. People have been talking about this for like years. People have been wanting it. The people have been wanting it and the Pokemon company and Game Freak are finally giving it to us. So it's amazing, good to know, awesome to know. And you know, after seeing the trailer, I gotta say, man, that the chibi style that they have going on, what everybody's talking about, I like it, dude, I really like it. You know, like the newer games, like Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee, and you know, Pokemon Sword and Shield, you have like the characters are like more realistic, they're like taller, but the chibi style, dude, I really love it, man. Like I gotta say, I really love it because it kind of brings you back to like that old style of Pokemon, where like all the, like the old Pokemon games, like it was like the little chibi style. But anyway, I like it, man, like I really like it. and I. Think I think it would have been better if Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire also adopted the same style, the little chibi style. You know, I think that would have been way better. But but yeah, I like the style, man. It looks amazing. And you know, for me personally, I did not grow up with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I know a lot of you did, but I grew up with Pokemon Red and Blue, Gold and Silver, and Ruby and Sapphire. You know, those were the games I grew up with. Um, when Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out, like I was already a teenager, man. I was in high school, and all that was on my mind during that time was girls. That's all. I thought about was girls, 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 hanging out with friends and girls, you know? Uh, I did try playing the games for a little while, but like it felt like too slow. So I picked it up and it felt like too slow. And I'm like, you know what? Um, I kind of grew out of Pokemon. So I just went back to like hanging out with friends, girls, man. And that was just kind of like, you know, I just kind of, I just kind of like skimmed over it. You know, I didn't really get into it. College years, I got back into Pokemon. If I play these games, it's going to be my first time diving into the Pokemon Diamond and Pro Platinum, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pro. Like it's going to be my first time diving into these regions the Sinnoh region the Sinnoh region is gonna be the first time I go into it and I gotta say that the one reason I really look forward to these games is not because like, I didn't play them when I was a kid I never played them and like I I know about Sinnoh and I know about the Sinnoh Pokemon but the main reason I am looking forward to these games is because the Sinnoh region is based off the island in Japan the big island Hokkaido all right so the northern island of Japan is Hokkaido and that's what the Sinnoh region is based off now Hokkaido has a dear special place in my heart because I lived in Japan man I lived in Japan for one and a half years and I lived in Hokkaido so you know I got to experience Hokkaido the city of Sapporo in Hokkaido so I am very familiar with Hokkaido and that's like my favorite you know prefecture in Japan and you know after like getting used to being in Hokkaido and living in Hokkaido and then um, also being into Pokemon I thought like man I gotta get back into like you know, playing the games and get back into the Sinnoh region because that's that's the region that's based off Hokkaido. So anyway, that's the main reason I'm looking forward to it is because it's based off Hokkaido, the Sinnoh region. And I just want to explore it and see how it compares to the actual cities in Hokkaido. Because you guys already know that the first four generations of Pokemon are based off like Japanese places and Japanese cities, especially the Johto region. Um, you know, that's very Japanese based. But anyway, yeah, man, um, I'm looking forward to seeing how these games are. Definitely going to pick them up or pick one of them up. And the only thing that we're would kill it for me it's the one thing that killed like let's go pikachu and let's go Eevee for me is the exp share if the exp share is something that you cannot turn off it's really gonna kill it for me man because i i hate having like exp share on all the time like, like when i was playing pokemon let's go just having that on all the time just ruined the game for me because like i, I want a challenge man you know i don't want to be like beating pidgey like killing the pidgey and then having all my pokemon level up like five levels you know like come on dude <laughs> that's too easy man it's like baby levels you know as long as the exp share is not in those games i'll be good like i know it's gonna be pretty easy you know because recently pokemon games have been got it like have gotten easier but as long as the exp share is like an option to turn off and on i'll be good i'll be good you with it but yeah um, that's all i want to say man is i'm looking forward to it and i guess yeah never really got into diamond and pro but after like living in japan especially in Hokkaido, like it's i've always had an interest like dude i gotta explore like i gotta get into this games you know i gotta get into those games and pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pro is a good reason to get into it so let's go right before you guys go when I was in Japan, you know, I met a lot of friends and we made some videos together and, you know, I just want to kind of like, uh, I guess, recommend a video for you guys to watch because, you know, like I, recently I watched one of my old videos and I really enjoyed watching it. And I'm like, you know, that was a couple years ago. It was a while ago, but like even today, like I still really enjoyed watching these videos. Uh, but pretty much, you know, me and some friends got together. We made a video about Pokemon, you know, because we love Pokemon. And yeah, I'll give you a quick preview of the video. 
And the losing team has to eat a cookie with mayonnaise and habanero sauce. How does that sound? Terrible. Am I allowed to look while you guys draw? Yeah. Uh, you sure this is one of the 150? Yes, this is one of the 150. This is I, I it's a good outline. A it's a good outline. Good. I think I got the. I might have gotten names. Good, so. good. Is it Arcanine? Yeah. You have to have it. Right? It, it is not Arcanine. What is it? Jerry? Charmeleon? Well, that's definitely not Charmeleon. Yeah, so I mean, if you guys, if that looks interesting, you know, check it out. I'll, le I'll leave a link to it in the description. You know, it's just a fun video. I think you enjoy it. So check it out. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. You know, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, drop a dislike, drop a comment. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.